That's great. I was just trying to call you. How you doing? Come on in. You want you, you want to get some breakfast or something? <laughs> a letter. Why? Two pages. Two pages tell me she's not good enough for me anymore because she can't have any more of my children. Oh, yeah, it's a great letter, pal. You want to read it? Is it true about the kids? Yeah, it's true. Oh, well, well maybe, maybe she just feels like hell about that and oh. she needs to get away for a while. Well, apparently, you don't leave your husband because you're having a good no, time. That's not what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's not as big a deal as it seems. Look, she loves you. You know that. Do I? Yeah. Come on, Rick. She was telling you the truth, man. Linda, this is no shut up for me. She's telling you the truth. She's trying to do this because she cares about you. you she loves no, you. You can no, work honey. this out. This is not some stupid little spec. I you know understand? That. I know that. I know that. Look, listen. Let me find her for you. We got a whole team of detectives at work. I'll find her. You can go and talk to her. Why don't you do that for me too, okay, pal? What? When you find her, why don't you talk to her for me? Oh, too, okay? Rick, that's not what I'm trying to do, man. Yeah? Because she's gone, there's not a damn thing you do about her. Look, all I'm trying to say is, I think that she's... Hey, I'm sorry. Did you hear yourself just now? My wife leaves me and you want to handle her. I know. Oh, I feel responsible. You feel responsible. You feel responsible for everything. You feel responsible for World War II, for God's sake. Oh, man. I didn't know that you love to take the blame. Oh, God. <sighs> what, do you, what do you want me to do, Rick? You want me to act like I don't give a damn? I'm sorry. I, I hate to disappoint you, but I care. You're like crawling into a hole every time I see you, and I'm sure that's exactly what you want. I, I know you mean that, right? Yeah. Well, what do you want? I don't know what it is you know what I want. Do you me again? You know what I want? You know what I want? I want it to be just me. What? Not you and me. Not one of the four musketeers. Just me. Just Rick Fowler. Who the hell that is? What? That's what Meredith meant to me. She was mine. I know that. Not like I owned her or anything, but she was my wife. I didn't have to share her with my best friend. She was my wife, the mother of my child. And finally, just once, I was me. Surprise? Yeah, I know, you have nothing to say. You know something, pal? It's not easy not to be your friend. Life's pretty tame. It's pretty damn boring. It doesn't occur to anybody to ask me what I think about the French film directors or the theater. No, they come to me about George Bush, the R schedule, and the Cubs. I think you were in my life a long time, pal, because you did it better than me. But I can't let you do it anymore. From now on, I'm on my own. You're doing a lousy job with this. Oh. You need to say this? I don't know. I can't. They're, they're changing five different well, colors. Once you listen to it, it'll be a second. Say, Doctor, get it right. guilty I could be then. I could have ruined your career along with everything else. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that, would you? Mm -hmm. up a deed. Ooh, these jokes are falling a little flat, aren't they? <clears throat> Seems to lost it all spark, haven't we, pal? Hmm, God. Remember the fights we used to get into? We used to beat the hell out of each other. Go find her. 
stay with her wherever she is. I'll find her myself, all right? Do you know where she is? She said this was best all around. Maybe she's right. 